It's Corey and Denise with Does Size Matter. We got another RV review for you today. We are going to be doing the Mini Plus 30 RLSS. Um, nice trailer. It's the upgraded version. We're here at the Jubilee RV Center in Kamloops, British Columbia. So we're talking Canadian dollars here. I uh, also want to remind you that everything we're telling you here is Corey and Mai's opinion off of the research that we've done. Uh, and we're just sharing that with you and hopefully it helps you to make your buying decisions. So let's start at the front of the rig like we usually do and I'll show you some of those features and we'll work our way around. On the Plus, remember there's differences between each one of the mini trailers. So the Plus is considered the more luxury version, has a few more upgrades. It's probably going to be a little heavier, probably going to be a little more expensive. Um, but it's on an eight foot wide stance and uh, it has things like a fiberglass uh, front cap and of course it has the lighting in there and, a, and the rock guard which we like. Um, it's a bit of a plasticky rock bar guard but it's, it's good. You've got I'm going to say two 30 pound uh, propane tanks and you've got an electric jack this particular trailer has three slides on it and we'll go over each one of those and what kind of mechanism it has with you. The other thing I wanted to point out about this particular Mini Plus, remember the last time we talked about the uh, super good gel coat finish that the Winnebago's have, it's thicker than most and then it comes in cool colors. So this one's got a bit of a beige finish to it but you can get it in red and all sorts of cool things. So uh, I see that they've got their solar plug here. If you want to plug in solar, let's see what we've got in here. Oh, I like that it has the magnetic um, door holder thing. So you can see in here, there's quite a bit of front storage and that they've got their little, I guess it's a wet bay. So it's got some electrical, you've got your satellite hookup, your park cable, your battery disconnect and moving on down. Um, these I think are like to connect a hose to hook up your water tank and then they've got this little spot down there so that you can close this door and have it all run through to the post at the park that you're at. Uh, here's the first slide and it is a Schwintec system that it is going back and forth in. Um, this is not too heavy of a slide, so that's going to be a pretty decent system, I think, uh, for that. So you've got a bulb seal and a flap here so that when the slide comes in, it uh, seals up next to that nice and tight. If you're looking way up at the top, you can see there's kind of a drip spout there. And that's so that when the water is coming off of the roof, it pours away from the trailer. So I do see that there's a bit of a problem with a seal on the top of this slide um, as it's pulling away. And these are the kinds of things that I wanna caution you guys to take a look at when you're out making your purchase. That's a really potential leak area for the slide and the dealership will take care of all that before they send you home with your trailer but you want to find those things before you ever go anywhere the other issue is that there are no slide toppers over this and i think that's a really important thing and you can get that added on to help keep debris and water from settling on top of your slide especially so you don't have to stress on those seals so i also wanted to show you under here there are a couple of buttons. I know it seems awkward that they're under the slide, but these are for the leveling of the jacks underneath. So there's a button for one side and a button for the other side. Um, now, typically <laughs> you would be putting your jacks down before you're pulling your slides out. So this shouldn't be as awkward as it looks at the moment, but that's where the controls are for those electric jacks. So you've got your 50 amp service, you've got your fresh water fill, you've got a tank flush. And then if we move down, uh, here's your connection for your sewer hose. And the valve for that is, uh, oh, here. <laughs> okay, 
super awkward spot. It's very hard to reach. You have to really climb under here to reach those. So I'm not, I'm not really liking that as a position for the poles. Um, I also wanted to show that the valve and the poles are insulated and on the inside of the frame there. So that does help to keep them from getting clogged up with debris or frozen or those kinds of things. So we're moving down, we can take a look at this slide. This is also a uh, Schwintec slide and it is, it is a larger slide, but really what depends on the mechanism used is the weight of the slide. Uh, so to determine whether that's good or not for that slide, I mean, I really wouldn't want to take it too much bigger. Um, let's look under here, because something I noticed different on the pluses than the others is when the slide comes in and is nice and tied up against here, there's no um, sheet metal in the wheel well here. And we really liked that about the other Winnebago mini trailers because that really protected underneath here in the event that there was a tire blowout. The other issue that I have without of them not having the sheet metal here is there's all these staples and fabric and things here. So this is going to be a really wet area with the tires splashing and things and it's all just coming up against this fabric. So I would have to say that that's not one of the mini pluses features because that's kind of a problem and we, we looked around and it's on all the mini pluses that way where the other mini trailers have that sheet metal in the wheel well so let's go around to the back here and i'm going to talk quick because we're right on the highway you've got more controls here for your jacks underneath you've got your ladder to get up to your walkable roof you've got your spare tire in a nice convenient location and then coming around here, you've got this other larger slide that is a rack and pinion, and it's electric. And I just want to take you up to the very top of this slide and show you some adequate seals. That's what they should look like. So a dealership will work on making those things right for you. Just make sure you're checking for those things. The uh, steps on the Mini Plus are an upgrade. This is the solid step, and these are those one-piece ones that flip right into the door frame area. So I do really like those. Um, also, it's got quite a, a decent awning with the LED lighting. I love that. Outdoor speakers, that's great too. Coming down, you've got some more electric and more cable gotta have a lot of cable on your trailer and then here's the other uh, side of that pass-through storage and what I like about this is it also has this little shelf up here which you can access from a door on the inside and I'll show you that when we go inside so that's kind of nice these are not the thickest doors so underneath here is also a propane connection and I really like that because then you've got something on your rig to hook your propane for your barbecue or your fire pit or those kinds of things out here and you're not having to pack around another container so I like that let's go check out the door it's a fairly nice wide door and oh I like that everybody knows I like the friction doors and I like them because they're not hooked up to something at the back they're not flapping around it's not slamming at you on a windy day so I do like it there's your screen door oh and look at that too it's on a automatic closer so I like that when my hands are full I don't need to turn around and close the door when people are going back and forth you're not constantly saying close the screen close the screen it's just closed so I really like that so now Let's go inside and see what else. Oh, well this is a nice um, kitchen in a travel trailer. I like the, you don't often see uh, travel trailers, bumper poles with islands. So I kind of like that. But look at all this countertop space. It's very nice, spacious. These are decorative and I mean, I can reach them okay, so that's good. Backsplash is good. We've got under cabinet lighting. 
Uh, a switch, I'm assuming for the lights. Electrical, we got here. Oh, that's a good size of drawer. And these are on the metal um, rollers, so I like that. Okay, and then, so this is a solid surface countertop, so there's no seams, it does roll over the edge. I've definitely seen um, more beefy <laughs> solid surface countertops, but this is very nice. We've got a double sink here. Oh, sorry, I lied. It's a single stainless sink, so, I mean, very nice. It's an undermount, it looks great. I personally would prefer to have a double sink, but what I do like is that the uh, pieces covering it are split, so I don't have to use both sides of the sink if I don't want. I've got a good high tap, it's got a sprayer, so that's nice. And then what else do we have in this island? Okay, it's got good electric, I like that. Uh, spacious underneath there, because that's where I'd probably put my garbage can and stuff like that. So I like that. And then we've got some more drawers here. We all know how I like drawers. Uh, kind of tiny, but you know, this isn't the deepest island. Because remember, we've got opposing slides that are going to come in against it. But you get three drawers, so that's nice. Uh, you get a fairly large fridge. Now, I don't know. 13 cubic feet maybe? I'm always just guesstimating on those numbers folks. But I like it. I like the uh, size. I like the height of everything. It's easy to reach. Spacious, so I like that a lot. It's a Dometic by the way. Then we move over to the stove. I really like the grate on this. So it's a three burner propane. I'm just trying to find, it's a, it's a Suburban. So this is nice. I like the, how level it is with the countertop. It does have a cover and a backsplash. Would be nice if they'd carried the backsplash over to here. Um, let's take a look at the oven. Pretty tiny, but it's an oven. You get an oven in your trailer. We also get more storage. I like that. It's fairly deep. It's, I like that storage. Uh, let's look at these. That's a nice wide. And then they get deeper as you move down. So I am really liking the cabinetry space. There's another one up here. So that's good. And you can probably all tell there's a little skylight up there above me. Small, little, but adequate microwave. Lots of electrical in this kitchen. So that's super nice. What do we got in these cupboards? Okay, so these are, you know, multifunction. Do you want them to be in the living room or the kitchen? Uh, if they were going to be in the kitchen, for me, I'd want them to have pullouts, but you could put bins or things like that in there. Also, you could put some lighting, I would suggest, in there just to make it easier to reach things. So that's nice. And there, there's quite a bit of space in there. Uh, a plenty big TV for me, hopefully for you folks too. Entertainment center. I'm not quite sure. I don't like that these are just left open, so I'm kind of hoping that maybe there's something missing, <laughs> like some sort of cover. I mean, I like the space, that, but I don't like that cords and things are just hanging down. So I would be looking for some kind of drawer front or drawer to fit in there. I always love having fireplaces. I mean, that's electric, but it's fine. And it's also going to put out a lot of heat. So if you've got a Skookum solar system or you're hooked up, that would be nice to have. Okay, what do we got here? So this, I know, has to be a bed of some sort. I'm just not sure what the sort is. Let me see for you. Okay, so this is a fold out bed. As you lift this piece, it pulls out this way and folds down. Pretty standard bed for a rig like this. Let me see how comfy this is. Oh, 
it's comfier than I thought it was going to be. You know, it just seemed um, thicker and harder when I was trying to pull it out, but it's not. It's quite comfortable. And I like the depth of this. It's good. Let's check out this window. Um, okay, so everybody knows that I like sliders. Um, not sure I like this slider. Oh, no, I don't. <laughs> oh, I don't. Okay. Just, it's really hard to lift that up. And then it doesn't really stay in its position that great. Uh, so I do like sliders. This just isn't my favorite slider. While we're here, let's take a look at the blinds. Okay. They're good blinds. They're pretty sturdy. I like those. Also, this is a nice light fixture for anyone sitting here doing any work. Also electric and USB. So that's handy if you were, if this was your work corner. Then some storage up here, but that's, it's super small storage. And I see more uh, lighting here with another electric and USB. Did they know we were coming or what? Okay, so now you've got some theater seating facing the TV. And what's good about the theater seating is there's nothing blocking. You can see the TV well. It's good conversational thing. Um, okay, this seems a little bit wobbly. But, you know, I'm thinking, I'm thinking that I'm right. <laughs> These, this theater seating is a three-piece system. So, they're just not hooked up at the moment, but you would want to get yours hooked up. And there's, if come over here and I'll show you. There's these little things here, and they're on both sides. And they fit into, can you see it back here? There's little notches down there that they both fit into. And that's on both sides. So you would want to make sure that your theater seating, what, everything was in those places so that they weren't wobbling around because theater seating is really popular a lot of people really like having that the windows in here are nice quite spacious so then let's move over to the dinette this is a pretty spacious dinette and of course it's going to make down into a bed as well um, it is a new new to me style of table to put down. I just want to show you how it works. There's this little knob on a spring that is blocking this piece here. So when you pull that out of the way, you can ideally push down on the table. Okay, so this is, might be a two-person job. Um, just because to keep that out of the way, while laying on the table, <laughs> So when, when I tried this out before, Corey helped me. <laughs> Can you help me? Yeah. You're pulling on this. This little piece comes down, and then the table goes down. And then it's going to sit on here. And I'm going to show you that part because make sure you put your foot on the bottom. It helps. So you're going to lift these cushions out of the way, right? And it's going to sit on here. So this is the problem that I have with this, and we've had this problem in that nest we rented too, where the table doesn't actually have a notch that it's sitting in, but it's sitting up here. So now you're going to have a discrepancy in the height of the cushions over top of the table. While we're talking about these cushions, I just see a few areas. There's nothing wrong with them, but I see them becoming a problem into the future. The thing is, even when they're pushed back as far as they can go, they're still hanging over the edge. So what you know is over time, as people sit here and their legs are pushing and pushing, this cushion's going to start to bend over. So that's a concern to me. Also, we've got a square over a curve. That is going to end up getting pushed like this over and over and over. A lot of people sit in the dinette like this. It's as people get in and out. It's a constant bend. So 
they're good cushions they're just the design needs to be better they could have curved them but i get it then it wouldn't have been so great for the bed um, what i would really wish they did is just made this a box and the other reason i wish they had made it a box is because underneath is great storage space but you can't get to all of it first of all because it has a door if they had squared this off you could have put a bigger opening and a drawer so that you'd have been able to access everything so right now this is a nice door to have but it's really hard to really use it much so you have to come here and lift this whole piece up to access anything underneath here so doable it's storage it's all good but it could be better with just a few simple design changes. The cushions would fit better, a drawer would be better. And remember, this is the plus version. So you should be able to have a few of those things. And this drawer isn't managing the carpet very well. I'd say I don't like carpet anyhow, but it's there. The flooring here too is a nice color and it's a, a nice vinyl. Can I point out while you're down here, Corey? about all of the vents that are in the floor throughout. So what's good about that is there's plenty of them. You've got good heat circulation in here. What I don't like about them is the same that I've said in many others. This is not Winnebago specific. When you do that, you put a weak spot in the floor and you have a dirt trap. So I just would prefer it coming out of the underneath of things or stuff like that. So, that's all good. So another one of the sliding up windows that I don't really like there. This one's a, a side slider, which I do. I also want to point out these are single panes. And as I've said before in the Winnebago, if you're going to claim to have a winter package in this unit, which it does, that should be double pane. Uh, there's also an AC in here and I'll look up what the BTUs of that are. There is only one uh, AC in the trailer, but it is ducted throughout. Let's go back and check out the bathroom. Okay, so this is a pretty spacious bathroom and it has two entry points, so I like that. This vanity is definitely hitting the pluses for me in that the sink is not huge, but it's large enough. We've seen way smaller. Um, standard taps you've got electric but what i love is even though this is a laminate it's got no seams it's fold over and look at all this space like they've designed this quite nicely to have you know the space that i always want there's also storage down here i like that and then you got more here oh okay i don't really like that yeah you can't have your cabinet door banging into your toilet what's in there Oh, that's not near as big as I thought it was going to be. That's a surprise to me. Let's okay. look up top. What do we get there? I think it looks nice. Um, of course, anybody see themselves in that mirror? I, I, why the heck is it way up there? Like, why not bring it down here so the average person could use it? I can't even, well, I might be able to part my hair if I stand way back storage a little bit but there is other storage in this bathroom okay let's check out the shower so um oh okay i know winnebago makes its own parts and shower bottoms and stuff but i've been in a lot more solid bases in a winnebago trailer than this particular one um you know you can feel it when you step on something and it's got some weaker spots what i do like is it's plenty spacious it's got this nice area here taps shower head skylight and ah i like that okay and what i like about it oh i'm trapped literally what i like about it is i've seen these types of showers before but they didn't seal properly this seals up really nice came together good so good i could practically not get out then you get way more storage so it isn't such a big deal that the storage under the sink is kind of small because you get all this so that's great you get a fan you get ac ducting 
there is heat venting in here. Uh, let's check out this toilet. So it looks like a standard, I can't open it because it's sealed, foot flush, uh, plastic toilet. I'm the director right at this moment in time and okay. you'll do as well, I say. Well, I'm going to go back to my trailer in a minute. <laughs> Ready? Okay, let's go check out the bedroom. I'm going to go this way around. Okay. Hi. <laughs> so this is a pretty spacious bedroom. Um, switches, dresser area, and I see electric and cable. So you could put a TV here. Drawers. There is six of them. And they're quite decent sized. Uh, quite a big... Oh, okay. So this is how you get into that uh, space over top of the uh, front pass-through storage. So that's that's quite a bit of storage there. And I'm noticing that that bottom piece is on hinges. So it is possible that in that pass-through storage underneath, if you wanted to put something taller, you could flip this piece up and have more space. So that's good. I mean, that's thinking, right? A good me. No, it's not. This is a tinted mirror. Am I crazy? I think you're crazy, baby. That is a tinted mirror, isn't it? Yeah. How do you do your hair? You can't use the one in the bathroom. How do you check your clothes in a tinted mirror? Maybe some people just like to see a silhouette of themselves, not close up. And like, if, where do you put your mascara on? I can't even see. Bathroom. Okay, I'm noticing. <laughs> The glass in the mirror is tinted. I don't get that. Um, maybe some of you out there have an idea of why you would have that tinted. Um, it is the only mirror that I could actually see in, in this trailer, so I would need it to not be tinted. But, but I like the closet space, which was what I was trying to show you to begin with. This is very spacious. Wait a second. There's no rod. So I'm not sure about that. Like, is something just missing maybe? Because this is great space. It's huge. But obviously you need a rod to hang. Uh, and then this is a really good shelf too. And it's lit. So that's, that's good. Um, down on this side of the bed, I noticed there is USB and electrical hookup. So the bed area, we're looking at a residential queen mattress. So that's nice. You've got lighting. Uh, over top of the bed. Um, no nightstands, and we all know that I'm partial to nightstands, so that I would rather. Also, in this area, they could have done a little more storage or something up there, but it is always awkward storage to reach, so no big deal, really. And, uh, it feels like a pretty comfortable mattress, and it's going to fit all the sheets that you already have, or if you're going to just go buy sheets in the store, it'll fit that too. So it's a pretty spacious bedroom, and I like it. Just a few little things that I think are a bit weird. Let's take a look at underneath the mattress. Is there any storage there? Oh yeah. Okay, well that's good, right? You can fit quite a bit of stuff in there. And this is easy to put up and down. So that's nice. We do have uh, venting for AC, heating, LED lights, speakers. So it's pretty functional. The door to this side of the bathroom is on a, a roller, like a barn door, and it has a security uh, thing up here, which I don't like because it would just be tough for me to use. Now I just want to go over the numbers on the 2020 Winnebago Mini Plus 30 RLSS bumper pull travel trailer. They do have fifth wheels in the Mini Plus too, so that's a whole other thing, but they'll be fairly much the same. Um, so I want to talk about, oh, I wanted to clarify that earlier I had said maybe a uh, 13 cubic foot. I'm way off the mark. That was an eight cubic foot double door gas and electric refrigerator. Uh, 10 gallon gas electric uh, water heater and uh, oh there's an option to have a 13.5 thousand BTU second roof air conditioner but it wouldn't be ducted but you could have two if you wanted them um, and then let's talk about the other numbers 
The exterior length is actually 36 foot 11, so that's quite a bit longer than we thought, but that's also including the hitch, right? Um, the dry weight, 8,860 pounds. Um, the exterior height with the AC unit, because one must include that, 10 foot 10 inches, and the exterior width we already talked about being 8 feet. The interior height, because this is a curved ceiling, remember, is six foot eight and a half inches at its tallest point. Uh, the gross vehicle weight, 9,995 pounds. The freshwater tank is 50 gallons. The black is 41 and the gray is also 41 gallons. And there is the two 30 pound propane tanks out there. The awning length is 20 feet. And the furnace is a 30,000 uh, BTU with the 10 gallon uh, water heater, which we talked about as well. So here is the pricing for this. It retails at 77,544, but it is on sale now for 61,800. If you're into the Winnebago series and the plus is one that you're looking at, hopefully this has helped you to understand it or uh, make some decisions for yourself. If you like the video, please hit the subscribe button so that we can show you more. Hit that little notification bell next to it. Make sure you click on one of the links at the end here. Maybe it'll, you'll come on an adventure with us or you'll get more information on the uh, Winnebago mini series of trailer, especially the construction one. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching. See ya.